that on the rupee. Dennis, hi, good morning. Uh, what's the sense you're getting? Is this a currency war that China is waging or is it just a temporary move? Yeah, we don't think it's uh, all out currency war. We think it's more in line with uh, the China's ambitions to facilitate the UN's inclusion into the SDR. So this should be more seen as a liberalization or a reform measure uh, to improve the fixing mechanism so that it reflects the, the market uh, rates. Uh, so today's, in today's press conference, the uh, deputy governor of the PBOC uh, mentioned that reports of like a 10% depreciation to support exports is groundless. Uh, and there were other strong comments to say that they, were, they don't see persistent depreciation. So these, are, I think, are hints that uh, China is not trying to engage in a currency war. Okay. Uh, that said, uh, Dennis, uh, is there uh, an expectation that there will be depreciation of the yuan simply because it is going to be more market determined? Yeah, I think given the macro backdrop where we are in, uh, in an environment where the Fed is about to hike interest rates and it's going to be the first major central bank in, in the world to hike rates, that is helping to support the dollar. And you have seen that most of the EM currencies have already adjusted versus the dollar. And now China seems to be the la laggard in, in this global effects adjustment versus the dollar. So I think there's still expectations of, of some depreciation of uh, the yuan as uh, market participants, as, as uh, residents in China shift their assets towards, uh, towards more dollar-based uh, assets. Uh, and so uh, there should be some further adjustment. Although I think China, PBOC could possibly slow the depreciation and not let this uh, depreciation expectation get too entrenched. Mm -hmm. So what do you see as uh, the uh, yuan rate, dollar yuan rate, uh, say, by September 30th and by December 31st? I think it's a very tough call. We don't have a, uh, you know, a definite forecast at this juncture given that there's a huge amount of uncertainty as to uh, how China would uh, change its fixings on a daily basis, whether it will stick to what it said, which is to consider more of the market rate. So we are still trying to assess the, the impact of this uh, liberalization move on the on FX in China. But I think some modest uh, and gradual depreciation in, in the CNY uh, is, is a fair expectation from here. Okay. It's interesting, you know, the euro has seen a gain for the last six days as a lot of the carry trades have been unwound. Um, do you expect the euro appreciation to continue? Yeah, we don't think the euro's uh, appreciation can continue, <coughs> basically because the ECB is maintaining a, a rather uh, accommodative policy uh, bias at this juncture. It has announced a fairly big uh, QE program and that they should follow through up to 2016. So I think in the short term, um, you know, that I don't, we don't, even though the economy in, in, in the Eurozone has, as a whole is kind of, uh, is holding steady, is modest uh, recovery in place, um, but we don't, we don't think that, you know, the Euro can strengthen uh, too far from here. And also considering that the Fed is very likely to high rates by the end of this year and likely to continue to, to high rates into next year. So that should support the dollar. Okay, so you're not expecting a September hike, you're expecting a December hike? We are ex uh, expecting a September hike. Okay. And what given that our, our view is that yeah, please uh, our go. view is that the labor market in, in the US uh, is pretty strong. Uh, we're going to see reco continued recovery uh, in, in, in economic activity into, into Q3. So I, we think that uh, that should set the stage for, for a Q3 high. Although, of course, the risk is biased towards a slight delay. What's the call on the rupee in, uh, in, in the context of all this? Are you factoring in a rate cut from the Reserve Bank sometime soon? Yeah, uh, Barclays is thinking that uh, the RBI will cut rates uh, in September. Mm -hmm. uh, given the move lower in inflation recently and that the growth uh, hasn't been too particularly uh, you know, exciting as well. So I think that the move lower in, in inflation allows the RBI to, to cut rates. But I don't think that the lo move lower in interest rates is negative for the rupee. Uh, I think in the context of uh, you know, the, 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 the strength in, in the dollar versus uh, the rest of EM, uh, the rupee is looking very good, mm -hmm. uh, plus the fact that uh, a lower commodity price is actually more positive for, for the India economy in, in terms of helping inflation in contrast to the fact that it, it, it actually uh, worsens some, uh, the macro growth environments for some of the other EM uh, commodity exporters.
All right, uh, we leave it at that. Dennis Chan, pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for dropping into our studio this morning. Okay, let's take a break. On that note, uh, market still yielding place, uh, giving away this early morning gains, uh, consistently chipping away, uh, uh, you know, on all fronts. Bank, bank Nifty.